everyone, Sebastian here. Wanted to make a quick video talking about a few things that I wish I knew before purchasing uh, the Floyd bed frame. Uh, this is specifically going to be about the King bed frame. Um, so this is uh, the walnut finish on the King. Um, give you a good sense of that too. We'll chat about that briefly. Um, but to start off, I'd say the number one thing to look um, into before purchasing this bed frame is just making sure that the size of the bed frame fits your space. Um, so for context, this room is uh, just over 12 feet wide and the bed is quite wide itself. As you can see, this overhang on either side is about six to seven inches. Um, it's pretty deceiving on the website. So if you look on Floyd's website, um, you'll see the image of the king and the mattress basically ends um, at the bed frame uh, on the, the picture, which I'll, I'll throw in here so you can see what I'm referring to. It just, just showed like a slight overhang. It was like a inch or two. And that's kind of what we were uh, under the impression uh, what it would be like when we received it. Uh, the tricky thing with these is the panels, regardless of if you get a twin, a queen, or a king, they're all the same size. So the twin and the queen, it looks perfect. My brother actually uh, years back purchased uh, the same bed frame in a queen and it looks great. It fits really well in the space and with with his mattress. Um, this one, I just think the overhang is a bit excessive. And the other thing is, is now running, we're running into the issue of it's kind of in our walkway to the bathroom. Um, so we didn't have count for that. And then this corner is quite harsh. It's really sharp and, um, You'll, you'll see some reviews online where people have bumped their shins into these. It's like no pain that you've ever felt. Um, I ran into it. My wife ran into it. So we learned the hard way, you know, just in the dark. We're so accustomed to our previous bed frame, which allowed us to easily walk past. Um, and that was also a king. Um, this one, on the other hand, uh, does not have that. Um, the other thing is the the quality... Overall, it's good. It looks good. Um, I really like the design of it. That's why we went with this. Um, but in comparison to the one that my brother has from a few years ago, uh, this veneer is definitely different. His essentially has like layers of wood, which seems uh, like a better quality finish uh, as opposed to this. So this is a full veneer and it's a bit hollow on the inside. Um, and, I, and I kind of know that more so because this one of the panels came damaged uh, during uh, delivery and it kind of has a hole in the back of it. So the, it, it essentially has like a solid outer edge and then the core seems to be hollow. Um, and, uh, and I'll also talk about my experience with the customer service uh, on that front uh, at the end. Um, but uh, continuing on with uh, just what I wish I knew, um, the walnut finish. Uh, so that's the next thing we could talk about. Um, it may look good, camera, uh, on film, you know, uh, in photos. Um, it is a little hazy and under harsh light, um, it almost looks uh, a little washed out or like faded. Um, that's kind of the best way to describe it. So that kind of wasn't true to photos either. Next thing that I wanted to mention was just the headboard itself. Um, so I bolted this as tight as it can go. It has these uh, mounting points right here. Um, so two on either side that connect to the, the headboard itself and then to the bottom uh, four panels. This is as tight as it gets. Um, so there's a lot of flex here and we ended up having to do this protective uh, edge right here just to protect the, the drywall. And we had to push it further back because uh, otherwise there's a lot of flex. So if you're sitting up in bed watching TV, um, you're gonna get that flex and you're 
more than likely um, going to hit the drywall and, and damage that ultimately uh, as a result. Um, so that was the other thing that I wanted to note. Um, so in, in regards to the customer service experience, that was fantastic. I reached out to them after I noticed the damage uh, after delivery and uh, they immediately uh, responded with, you know, an apology and two options. One was a credit um, towards the purchase of another uh, item in their store um, or just a free replacement panel. Uh, we opted to get a coffee table. We needed one anyway, and I liked the style of the one that they had. Um, so we went that route and uh, it came with some imperfections. I could do a video on that as well, um, just to show uh, what the quality of that one was. Um, but overall, you know, it's a good piece, as is this bed. Um, but just wanted to point those things out um, so that, you know, if you're looking to get one of these, that you're aware uh, of what to expect. Um, and I'll be doing some other videos. Uh, we recently redid our entire place with all new furnishings. Um, so we've gotten everything from Rove Concepts, West Elm, Floyd, obviously, uh, living spaces, all the way down to Ikea, and I did some Ikea hacks as well. So um, I'll be posting up some other videos uh, for those items too. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to drop a comment below. Uh, would love to hear um, your experience too, if you have a Floyd bed already. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys soon.